Hello, this is permutation and combination lesson two. In this, I will discuss questions on arrangement of n things, some of which are alike, alike or same. Let's say, first I will take the different uh, letters. Let's say R O C K. Total arrangements are how many? Can I say four letters will come on four places? This first place can be filled in with any of the letters R or O or C or K. This can be filled in four ways. Second letter now in second place any of the three remaining letters can come. Let's say R came here, so O, C, or K. Any of the three can come on second place. So this can be filled in three ways. Let's say C came here. The other, the third place can be filled in any of the, any of the two letters K or O. In two ways, in the last remaining letter K came here. One place and one possibility is there. This is four factorial. So can I say that we, as we discussed in the previous lesson, arrangement of n different things, taking all of them together, arrangement of n different thing is n factorial. But as I give the topic name is that some of which are alike. Now I will make some changes. R double O K rook. Again you can see that in rook there are four letters. So total arrangement would be. Four factorial, as in the case of rock, four letter, four different letter, four factorial arrangement. But four letters with some letters are same. Now in rook, answer will not be four factorial because some of the cases will repeat. This is equals to divided by two factorial because O is coming two times. You have to divide by factorial two. Another example, I am take banana. Banana, how many arrangements would be there? And in comparison, I will take some other letter. Let's say B K R W T Q. This is also a six-letter word. Now all letters are different in this case. All letters are different in this case. In this case, total arrangement would be six factorials. Six different letters. Total arrangement would be six factorials. Whereas in the case of banana, answer will be six factorial divided by the letter which repeat how many times you have to divide by that n is coming two times you have to divide two factorial a is coming three times you have to divide by three factorial so that will be the answer six factorial by two factorial into three factorial remember that we are arranging all the letters we are not choosing that we have to arrange four out of six or five out of six i have to arrange all of them then only this formula is applicable Next could be total arrangement of letters of the word Allahabad. Now this is how many letters are there? Three, three six, three nine. Total nine letters are there. So nine factorial will be there. If all letters were different, my answer will be nine factorial. But some of them are same. That's why the number of cases will be less. As L is coming two times, two factorial. L is coming two times. A is coming how many times? One, two, three, and four. A is coming four times. You have to divide by four factorial also. So that will be your final answer. Arrangements of all the letters of the word Allahabad. Question first is, it's a bit interesting question. We have to go from A to B. We have to go from A to B. How many ways we can go from A to B? We have to only walk through these lines. Let's this is a city. In which these are the the straight lines are roads. These are squares. These are the roads. You have to travel only on these lines, and we have to move only only movement allowed is only movement allowed is. I'm just writing. You have to move east or north. You can't move south or west. south and west are not allowed it means that this is east this is north you can move upside or right side you can't go left that is west and you can't come down that is south so these movements are not allowed only movements are allowed are north and east you can move up or you can move right so how many ways we can reach to b from a that is the question now this question can be solved in two ways first using the formula 
देन आई विल टेल यू द लॉजिक बिकॉज ऑल द क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस टाइप कांट बी सोल्व विद हेल्प ऑफ ए फॉर्मूला फॉर्मूला इज लाइक दिस फर्स्ट यू मेक वन पाथ कैन एस दिस इज ईस्ट दिस इज ईस्ट दिस इज ईस्ट दिस इज ईस्ट नॉर्थ 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 एंड नॉर्थ इफ यू वर्क लाइक दिस हेयर I am walking east and north only. I I read. This is one path. So path number one, path number one is E E E E N N N N. I will reach to B without violating any condition. E E means one step east, one step east, one step east, and four steps and then north. Four step north, you reach the point B. Path two could be. I am just making this. You have to move. Then I move north. This is east, north, east, north, and east. I reached B. What is the path? This north, east, north, east, north, east, north, and east. This is path number two. Now you can see that. Let me make some other uh, another case. Then it will be more clear. Path three. Can I say this is all north and then all east? This is N N N N E E E E. You again reach the point B. Now you can see that any arrangement of any arrangement of four N and four E, you will reach. B, any arrangement. You take any arrangement, you will reach the point B. I have taken three arrangement. You can see that in all the arrangement there are four E and four N. In this case also four N and four E there, four N and four E. Any arrangement of any arrangement of combination of four N and four E, you will definitely reach the point B. So how many arrangements are there? Total arrangement of E E E E N N N N. As I discussed just in the previous slide, total arrangement of all this is eight factorial. Eight letters are there. Four E is coming and four N is coming. So I will divide by four factorial and four factorial. That will be my final answer. This is equals to eight into seven into six into five into four factorial. Four factorial is twenty-four. One factorial, four factorial. I am keeping as it is. This is now this eight three is a twenty-four. Three two is a six. So answer is two five is a ten. Seventy ways will be there from by which I can reach from point A to B. Now you can. I will take the example. You can take any combination of four E and four N. You will definitely reach B. Let me take an example. that will make your concept more clear i am making that e n n e e e n n this is a combination of 4 n and 4 e any combination you can take you will definitely reach b without violating any condition let's follow the path first we have to go east one step east then two step north this is one step north this is two step north you reach this point then three steps east one Two, three, then two steps north. You reach the point B. So there will be seventy ways. This is question two. I have to reach B from A. I have to go A to B. Only I can go north or east. South and west are not allowed. Now this is the method bit different here. I, I can't apply the formula, so I will make the point. This is C D E F G H I J K L M N O P N Q. I can reach C from A in a one way. You need to count the ways in this method. I can go from A to G in a one way. A to H in a straight path. A G H in one way. Now I can reach via 
आई कैन रीच एच फ्रॉम ए वाई आर जी और सी सो देर विल बी टू वेज टू रीच द पॉइंट एच आई कैन रीच द पॉइंट एच फ्रॉम ए वाई आ जी एंड सी बिकॉज ए सी एच एंड ए जी एच देर विल बी टू वेज टू रीच the point h from a so what i am doing i am just adding the numbers this is 1 and 1 this is 2 so i can reach the point h in two ways a to d how many ways a to c is one way c to d is a single road one way d to h there is a single road one way now very important i can reach the point i via एच और डी फ्रॉम ए ना एच फ्रॉम ए आई हैव टू वेस डी आई हैव टू रीच डी फ्रॉम ए दिस इज वन वे सो टोटल वेज वुड बी थ्री वेस टोटल वेज जस्ट नीड टू एड दिस इज टू प्लस वन थ्री How so? Because A, C, D, and I. This is one method, one way. A, C, H, and I. A, G, H, and I. Three ways will be there to reach the point I from A. One more. Then we will simply add the numbers. D to E in one way. E to J in one way. Single road. Now I can reach the point J. This is the point J. Via I or via E, so this total ways would be three. To reach I, I need I have three ways. To reach E, I have one ways. So total ways to reach from J would be three plus one, four. Now just need simply add these numbers, then will be your final answer. We can solve this question in around less than two minutes. This is one way. Now four plus one would be five. This one will come here. One will come here. Now point N, I can reach from I or from H. Two plus three would be five. Just need to add two ways to reach I. Sorry, two ways to reach H. Three ways to reach I. To reach N, two plus three, five ways will be there. Same way M. From N and from J. To reach J, four ways. To reach N, five ways. To reach M, four plus five, nine ways. To reach K, there are five ways. To reach M, there are nine ways. So total nine plus five, five, fourteen ways. Now again, this is nine plus five. Just simply add the numbers. This is nine plus five, fourteen ways. Fourteen plus fourteen, twenty-eight. Fourteen plus twenty-eight, forty-two ways will be there to reach B from point A. You only need to add the number of ways. You can practice this at this at home. uh it seems to be a bit difficult but once you understood the concept it will be quite easy so that was all about lesson 2 questions on arrangement of n things some of which are alike thank you